Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Valleys. In this series of videos, we are talking about the best book series, the best book for different subjects that of our choice. Now for these different subjects, for the books that I am going to mention, there are three books mentioned for individual videos. Among these three books, it's not likely we are putting in the rank 1, 2, 3, no. All the three books are important because sometimes one book covers some topics better than the other book. That's why we have three books listed for you so that you understand which topics are well written in which books and you can choose that book accordingly. And this book selection is purely based on my personal preference and the way I pursued the book when I read it. The book selection and choice might vary from viewers to viewers. So it is advised that if you want to purchase the book or if you want to read from the book, at least see a sample copy or see the soft copy or PDF version of the book first and then get them. Another advice, if you want to get these books, get it in the colored version. If not possible to buy and afford the original printed version of the book, you can get a PDF and get a colored printout, which still is better in terms of understanding. And if you want to get this book, buy this book, the list of the books and their buying links from Amazon uh, is there in the description. You can click that and you can see uh, the books and you can check the details, you can check the reviews and can decide to purchase or not to purchase. Okay. And at the end, I'll also mention about which book to select and which book not to select based on your requirements. So let's begin. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. This video is from the series of best books and today we are going to talk about the best books for botany. Now botany as a subject have so many topics but we are talking about the classical botany where the plant physiology is the central part of the botany understanding. So for that what are the books that you can read for uh, the understanding botany or classical botany. Starting with the very first book that is Plant Physiology and Development by Ties and Ziger. This is the best book that I have encountered uh, when I was trying to understand uh, plant physiology. Particularly for CS and Life Science, when I started my preparation long time ago, I tried to find out the botany book because botany was not my core subject, but I found out that this book, the way it is represented, the way it is written, uh, very, very engaging. And uh, there are detailed explanations and also, uh, I mean, there are so much information, but they are packed in a proper paragraphs and tables and also the images are very very good so i like this book it is easily readable and that is the benefit of this book strong emphasis on plant physiology comprehensive coverage of plant growth and development which is very very important for csa and life science syllabus is very well explained in here so plant physiology part not the classification remember plant physiology part its name is plant physiology and development it focuses on plant physiology it focuses on plant growth and development as well supported by scientific research and case studies regarding individual topics. The important topics that you will find out here is photosynthesis and plant metabolism, the ascent of sap and also the distribution of food from source to sink, hormonal regulation in plants, different hormones and the way they work, plant response to environmental stress. And also secondary metabolites parts are well covered. Genetic and molecular mechanisms in plant growth are also something of more important topics that are discussed here in this particular book, Physiology, Plant Physiology and Development by Thais and Ziger. Okay. Now we go to the next part. The next book uh, that we want to talk about here is again Botany, An Introduction to Plant Biology. This is the name by uh, James D. Mouset. So Botany by James D. Mouset. This is another book for an overall botany understanding which is the introduction to plant biology. That is what it is. Best feature is a comprehensive introduction to plant biology. So all important, non-important topics, everything is there in a comprehensive manner. The illustration used in this book is a very, very good, very clear cut illustration and diagrams are there. It focuses on both basics as well as applied plant science. Uh, so if you want to read the basic plant science as undergraduate students, you can go with it. If you are a postgraduate student, want to understand the applied aspect of it, you can go with it. So it's an all-rounder book that is out there. 
plant structure and function part is very clear photosynthesis plant metabolism and uh, part growth and development in plant uh, which I found from this book is more important is the growth and development of the plant and plant evolution and diversity part which plant evolution and diversity plant part is not good it's missing there in Taiz and Ziga which is more focused on plants uh, the, the physiology part but the anatomy part here and also plant evolution and diversity part genetics and biotechnology of the plant so plant biotechnology agriculture biotechnology perspective is also given in this book by uh, botany by James Mousset okay so this is the second book of choice now the third book of choice that I want to tell you about uh, the best book of botany here is this book and this book is a uh, raven biology of plants now a uh, raven biology of plants although this is not exactly the the cover page of the book this is a notebook version of that book that is available but raven biology of the plant is another uh, it's 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 another very very well uh, illustrated and well written book detailed coverage of plant anatomy and physiology is in there so someone want to understand and focus more on plant anatomy part then raven biology uh, of plant is a better choice over Tyson Ziger. Tyson Ziger is a better choice for plant physiology part. This is well organized with high quality visuals and uh, this has plant anatomy and morphology in much greater details. So remember if you are focused on plant anatomy and morphology go with the raven biology of plants and if you focused on plant physiology part then go with Tyson Seeger part and for all rounder part then you can go with the Mousset book. Plant reproduction and development is also very well illustrated here ecology and environmental interactions from plant perspective and genetics and molecular biology and plant evolution is also very well written in the Raven biology of plants okay. So uh, I already mentioned who wants what. Right? If you want to prepare for CSI and life science, then Tyson and Ziger is the book to go. But if you are a botany student, uh, you, you want one book and one book only, then uh, the book earlier that we discussed, uh, this is the one that is the botany and introduction to plant biology by James D. Mousset. But if you want uh, the detailed coverage of plant anatomy and morphology, plant interactions, evolution, reproduction, then go with this Raven Biology of Plants. Okay, so that's my verdict on best three books on botany. All right, so I believe uh, I've already clearly stated the difference between all the three books, which topics are well covered in one book more than the other. So the USP of the books are clearly explained. Now it's your choice which book to choose depending upon your requirement. But remember this is all my personal preferences. If you want to check, check out the book, the link is there in the description. You can click the link and you can see the details. Hopefully you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.